After protests and pleas from for justice from the community, Whiskey Row has agreed to pay a $26,000 fine in connection with the death of Dallas Barrett. Six security guards are charged with reckless homicide and aggravated assault for his death last year. News Channel 5's here in Cantrell is covering this uh, live from along Broadway this morning. So, Aaron, I mean, who does this fine go to? Well, Ben and Amy, it goes to the Tennessee Department of Commerce and Insurance to cover that civil fee fine there, according to the family attorneys. And they had this to say about that fine, saying that this penalty demonstrates that Whiskey Row is a practice bad actor. So it was actually last August when all this went down inside the establishment. Security cameras showed staff holding down 22-year-old Dallas Barrett at Whiskey Row. He became unresponsive and later died from being deprived of oxygen, according to the autopsy report. Now, six guards were indicted in his death last year. And in early January, News Channel 5 learned that four of those six security guards were not properly licensed with the state at the time of the incident. Now, in a statement, the family's attorney said, quote, Dallas Jordan Barrett had to be murdered by Whiskey Row and its employees before the state of Tennessee Department of Commerce and Insurance felt any need to attempt to bring Whiskey Row into any semblance of compliance. They go on to say no amount of civil penalties paid by Whiskey Row will restore Dallas Barrett to his mother, end quote. Now, News Channel 5, we have reached out to Whiskey Row for a comment. We have not heard back from them just yet, but to catch up on the latest on the investigation, just head on over to newschannel5.com.